Okay, so using a couple of different examples, if we look at this first one here, I've got x minus 2 equals 5. So I want to use an inverse operation to get x by itself. So if I look at the minus 2 here, that's the thing I want to move. Here the 2 is being subtracted from the x on the left-hand side. So if we do the opposite, or the inverse as we know it, to both sides, I would need to add 2 to this side. It's the opposite of take. And I need to add 2 to the other side, as we learned from our balancing thing. So if I do that, it just becomes x on the left, because minus 2 plus 2 gives me 0. And the right becomes 5 plus 2, which is 7. So x equals 7 will be my answer. We could think of moving it to the other side by doing the inverse to that side. So if I was to move this 2 to the other side, I would just add 2. If I look at 2x plus 5, for example, the 2 is technically being added, but we don't write the plus in this case, because we could write a little plus 2 here. But we don't write that in math. We just assume that if there's no minus, it's a plus. So technically, if this is a plus 2, and I want to move it to the other side, I need to do the opposite function, which would be a negative. So if I wrote it as plus 2 plus x equals 5, Plus 2 is the sign I need to change, so I need to subtract 2 to move it to the cross. This would leave me with x equals 5 take 2, and that equals 3. On this question here, I've got a 2x equals 5. So the 2 is the thing I need to move, and we can see that it's 2 times x. So the sign is actually a little times in there, and that's the thing I need to find the inverse of. So the inverse of times is divide. So 2 needs to move. If I want to move the 2 across, I need to divide by 2 because it's the opposite of what's being done. That's going to leave me with x is equal to 5 divided by 2 or 5 on 2. 5 divided by 2, same thing. And that's my answer. So when I look at these questions, they're just saying, what is the inverse of this? So if I've got a plus 3, what's the inverse of a minus 3? When we get up to something like part 3, where I've got examples of things that need to be moved, we're just thinking about inverses. So if I had 2x equals 1, to move the 2 across, I need to divide, and that's equal to 1 on 2. If I had plus x equals 2. The 4, remember, is a little plus 4. So if I want to move that across, I have to subtract 4. And that leaves me with x equals 2 take 4. So if we looked at a harder example in here, something like this one here, m, I've got x over minus 3 equals 3. I want the 3 to be moved by itself, sorry, the x to be by itself, and I've got minus 3. So here, the minus 3 is divided by x, so to move it back up here onto the other side, I need to times by minus 3. So remember, the sign doesn't change, because it's all of this that I'm moving. I'm just changing from this bit, which was divide, to this bit, which is times, so therefore I'm left with x equals 3 times minus 3, and that equals minus 9. 